For the second problem for homework six, uh, chapter six, hydraulics homework, it's very similar to the first, where we have a curb inlet that's got this opening three feet wide and six inches high that I drew here. But in this case, the water is gonna be allowed to increase to seven inches. So we wanna know what the new flow rate will be. So remember before we had six, four inches, which was less than the six inches of the opening itself. Well, now this water is gonna be above. It's gonna rise an inch above the top here to be at this height of seven inches. So now my height has changed to seven inches for the water, but in order to find my little h form, and so now this, this uh, opening is gonna be behaving like an orifice, okay? Since we've got that water over the top, we're no longer in the weir condition, uh, we're in the orifice condition, and in order to use the, this inlet as an orifice, we have to know um, our coefficient here, that's around our orifice, our area of the orifice, the square root of 2gh. In this case, the h is that distance from the centroid of my opening here to the water level. So remember, my opening was six inches tall, so the centroid of that vertically uh, would occur right in the middle here at three inches from the top and bottom. But now I am adding this extra inch to the top. So my H is gonna be that distance from the centroid to the top of that water level. So my little H is gonna be four inches. Remember as a default for that uh, C sub D, we're gonna go ahead and use 0.6 for the orifice. So for our orifice equation, it is that, so this is for number two, our Q is gonna be C sub D times the A times the square root of 2GH. And so in this case, we have the 0.6 default value that we'll use. For my area, it is that six inches. So we'll call that 6 twelfths of a foot times the three foot width there or length times the square root of two times G. And again, we're using um, our common units here, so 32.2 feet per second squared, and then times that H, which remember is from the centroid of that inlet to the top of the water, so it is four inches, so four over 12 feet. And we go ahead and do that math, and we wind up with 4.1699 uh, cubic feet per second, so we'll round that to one decimal place again and call that 4.2 cubic feet per second for the Q when that inlet is over full there to the seven inches and behaves like an orifice.